Till now, we were talking about the demand schedule and the demand curve of an individual. But in order to find the equilibrium in the market and to analyze how markets work, we need to work with the demand curve of the entire market. So in this lecture, I will show you how to convert the individual's demand curves into the market demand curve. We know that a market has many consumers of a good. We can expect to have millions of consumers who eat ice cream. But just for the sake of simplicity, let us assume that there are only two consumers who eat ice cream, John and Harry. And this is how their demand schedule looks like. As you can see here, column 2 shows the quantity demanded by John at different prices and column 3 shows the quantity demanded by Harry at different prices. Given this information, it is quite simple to obtain the market demand schedule. We just need to add the quantity of ice cream cups demanded by John and Harry at different prices. So as you can see in column 4, the entire market demands 21 cups of ice cream when the price of ice cream is $0. It decreases to 17 cups of ice cream when the price rises to $1 and so on. Now that we have got the market demand schedule, we can simply graph this to get the market demand curve. As you can see, I have drawn three demand curves here. The first two are for John and Harry respectively and the third demand curve is the market demand curve. The market demand curve shows how the total quantity of a good varies as the price of the good varies, while all the other factors that affect demand are held constant. So this is all about market demand schedule and market demand curve.